And then when I finally started to go go the comedy route and that started to take off, then I really didn't need him. But you know, at some point, I just had to cut him off because I was like, "Dude, this dude is not good for Did what, he the last, last ever? word." No, no, the last he's still alive. Last word they ever said to him was it was like a it was like a Christmas function or something. Not the last words, but the last when I cut him off um, was we was at some family function. I was cutting up with my cousins and stuff, and he literally came in the the room. He goes, "People laugh at that. Mm. People hey, pay money to hear you tell hey, jokes hey, like hey, that." Hey, and I just hey. looked at him and I went. Millions. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Okay, so did your mom ever get remarried? Uh-huh. And so you had a father figure growing up. Oh, uh, yeah. I had a dude in the house. I ain't gonna call my father figure. I can't stand that dude. You ain't like no. him at all. Nah. Man. He's did, one of the worst human beings on the planet. Did he ever try to contact you after you seen your success? I mean, I, I, last time I talked to my mom and stepdad was 2016. Wow! Yeah, that's the last time. Yeah, it was. It's just saying it's 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 toxic. It's beyond toxic. What and the I, heck? He knew it at an early age too. I was like, this ain't right. This ain't how you supposed really? to. Really? Yeah, he just wasn't a good dude, man. He wasn't. Uh, he's just a, one of the worst human beings I ever met in my life. Wow! Just, but but I do have the older I get, the more I I see the whole picture, right? Yeah. So his thing was when he's abusing me. He's like, well, your childhood isn't, isn't as hard as mine. Then when I started to dive into his childhood through like, his brother was always cool, my uncles yeah, and stuff. Yeah. And his mom was probably the closest I was to a grandparent. So okay. I'm not wow. gonna say the whole family was bad, but he, he, was, was. He, was the, he was the bad one. But when I dove into his life, you I go, some stuff. so his dad was abusive was, as well. Was abusive to him. Yeah. But a different time. His dad went to World War II. Yeah. Was on a Navy ship. The ship sunk. Wow. Mm. Only like, I think like 10 guys survived. He was one of the 10. Uh, so right there, you're kind of messed up. You messed up. You, messed up. Right. you yeah. messed up. You come home and all of a sudden gets married, has my stepdad. And then from what I gathered through his family was his dad got re very jealous Damn. because he wasn't getting the attention from his wife. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So now he's he took it out on my stepdad. Mm -hmm. And that translate. he never dealt with his PTSD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he was, I guess he was, have you ever seen the movie Hard Times with Charles Bronson? Yes, yes. They were street fighters? Yeah, yeah. My stepdad was doing that as a teenager in high school. They, he was driving on to Cincinnati, getting paid money to do street fights street and fighters. alleys. Yeah. So it's funny, like, when you're with an abusive parent, and you go to school and you're kind of venting to your friends. Like, man, what we'll possess? ass. I said, I can't. That's the problem. The, 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 the motherfucker can fight. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, in the movies, yeah. the kid, like, stands up to his dad. Yeah. Like, I tried. You remember, you remember <laughs> that's what happened with Baby Boy when, when Tyrese tried to stand up to, uh, yeah, oh, Melvin, 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 Melvin yeah, Ray. Yeah, yeah. Right. He choked him. Yeah, yeah, call yeah, out I felt for your mom. I yeah, felt that. A lot of kids did. Yeah, he a didn't lot cook naked did. in the kitchen. No. Nah. He didn't do that. <laughs> he didn't go that far. I had a cousin that he, he's like, man, I, that hit home. He reminded me of so much of my family. Yeah. Because that's what movies do. They bring that thing out from that might be inside, uh -huh. bro. Because they it's, get ideas from real realistic I know, I know, but activities. damn, that hit yeah. too close to home. Some people can't watch that crap. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I can I can deal with it. But yeah, he was just he was just I mean, black and better he was a dick. Yeah, yeah. He was no, a dick. no, I get it. I he had would a, he would do, I would say like Growing up, I I don't remember him saying anything good. Like, yeah, yeah. Never good. I, I went a different direction. I didn't go, I don't know what was inside of me. I didn't go the route where drugs like my brothers did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was abusive to them too. Yeah, right? yeah. But drugs, go they got route. caught up in drugs. Bad. Damn. Yeah, so th they went that route. I went the route like, okay, I'm going to prove you wrong. I'm, oh, yeah. I'm going to leave. Because he kept saying, you got to be out of the house at 18. I left at 17 to join the Navy. Like, I, and I beat you to it. Yeah. Right? <laughs> and I never had to go back and need him for anything after that. And then when I finally started to go, go the comedy route and that started to take off, then I really didn't need him. But, you know, at some point I just had to cut him off because I was like, dude, this dude is not good for Did what? Did he apologize the last, last ever? Word, no, no. The last, he's still alive. Last word they ever said to him was it was like a, it was like a, Christmas function or something. Not the last words, but the last, when I cut him off, um, was we was at some family function. I was cutting up with my cousins and stuff. And he literally came in the, the room. He goes, people laugh at that? 
Mm. People pay money. money. Hey, you tell jokes like that? that. And I just looked at him and I went, millions. (laughs) And walked out the room. That's it. So that's what I said to him. Yeah. So is he the reason why you don't talk to your mom? No. Well, I did an article back in 2000. 14, God, that's 10 years ago, for BuzzFeed.com. I mean, you could look it up. Mm-hmm. But it's a eight, it's like an eight-page article of how, how did a white guy become one of the top grossing black comedians? Right. Within the eight pages, they call, they interviewed, like, they interviewed Will Packer for it. Yeah, wow. They interviewed um, my mom. They interviewed, like, people from my past. Right. Stepdad wouldn't get interviewed, right? Of course. They said, well, your stepdad, he's kind of tough. And I go, I go, he's an asshole. Yeah, the, yeah. The guy put that in the article, <laughs> right? And then I, I explained, I said, I'm not going to get it. He's an asshole. Yeah. And then he put that in the article. So when the article came out, my mom kind of cut me off because she, I let the family secret out. Like, how could you call your stepdad an asshole? She didn't like want that? nobody to yeah. know. She goes, you know how many people are calling me? I said, Mom. Let's be honest, like four people, three people called you? Yeah. <laughs> like millions. I go, not many people saw the article, let alone I know your circle. Not yeah, that many. Yeah, yeah. Maybe one or two people. Maybe one it. or two. But that that was where my mom kind of cut me off. And then uh, my when my brother passed away, I had a heroin overdose. Wow. That's when I kind of tried to reconcile. Yeah. But in the course of trying to reconcile, my stepdad called and was like, uh, he tried to blame me for it, like of him course. dying. Of course, He tried to be like, you know, Dallas was doing, his name was Dallas. He goes, Dallas was doing good, man, he was doing really good, and then an article came out, and he relapsed. Oh, wow. And he was making it by something. Like, well, you, you blaming me? Oh, wow. Oh, okay. The guy that didn't do drugs, the guy that like, put my brother in rehab, yeah. right? Yeah. Always would, when he would overdose, I'm the one they would call to come talk to of him course. and stuff. But I'm the one now that's, I was like, oh, I can't. I think, like I, I said, things run in course, man. Like, like, it, and I, I commend you for even being able to make it through. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's tough, bro. Like, it's some people that can't, you able to move past it and move on and, and deal with life. Some people can't, they keep looking back and they keep going back. 2016, what gave you the strength to just say, man, I'm not going back into it? Uh, I don't, I don't know. I just, you realize, like, you're looking for that approval. You always yeah. want that approval of your parents. Mm-hmm. And then when you realize, like, you know what, this is, I'm, I'm almost glad I never got it. Yeah. So yeah. If I would have got it, I probably would have latched onto him. Yeah. Because you yeah. want it so bad. So I'm glad, I'm almost glad he rejected me. Because yeah. in a way, he is responsible for some of my success. Yeah. In a yeah. warped world, that's it. He is. That's it. He's stronger. Yeah. And now I, I do sympathize with him. Because, yeah. like, he didn't have the tools. That's right. He didn't have, have you forgiven? I, I forgive everybody, but I just can't be around them. Right. Yeah. I can't be around them. And my, my dad ain't much better. No, that's real. You know what I mean? It's like the two the two men that were supposed to be there was not there. So but, you know your dad now. You have a relationship. Mm-mm. Well, you don't have a relationship, but you know where he is and yeah, you know yeah, who yeah, he yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, do, yeah. You look, do you look like him? Yeah, a lot. Yeah, yeah, a lot. Damn. Yeah, mannerisms <laughs> and everything. Like, I'll, sometimes I'll, I'll do something. I'll be like, ah, I was, my dad did I that. I do the same thing. And <laughs> I, I, he passed away now, but I can I remember it. It's like, damn, I, this yeah. dude is in me. You know? <laughs> my, I think the problem, my biological dad is like, he went around when I was growing up. And then when we kind of reconciled, I mean, it became very clear he was he was using me for everything he yeah, could. of course. And then, the you know, our relationship ended over a Reds game. I came in the Cincinnati and I went to a Reds game. We got a suite, and I didn't invite him. Wow. And he left the mad. whole voicemail like, you know, you don't respect me. And, you know, there's your fucking dad. He's cussing me out. I'm going, what is he mad about? And it was a Reds game? And then we got on the phone, and we were arguing on the phone. And that was, uh, you know, I hung up on him. And then he went to my, my ex and started Giving her all this information. Let me ask you something. How, okay, with that happening, like, how do did you overcompensate with your kids, just trying to be there for them and trying not to be that guy that you knew, you know, growing up? Uh, I was very conscious of how I spoke to them, me how too. not to be abusive, things like that. Yeah, I was very conscious. Yeah, of that. yeah. You know it makes you mean? think about it. Yeah, it makes yeah, you yeah. think about it. You don't even you raise them to say, "Man, I don't want to be like that." So I got to watch myself because mm-hmm. you know the repercussions of what you've seen. You become if you get angry at it. Mm-hmm. That's a real thing. Facts. You start. You be like, "Whoa!" You you get so caught like you up. You see your father come out in you. Exactly. Uh-huh. You, and your anger and stuff. You will catch yourself if you you'll be like, "Hell no!" This is mm-hmm. I can't Facts. do that. 
Facts. I don't want to be that guy, man. Yeah. So it's like sometimes I, I find me overcompensating for things that I didn't want to be that I've seen in people, my mm -hmm. you know, leaders in my life, yeah. man. That's dope, man. Facts. So when did you get into like the- Well, it's weird. I told you my brother overdosed and you said that's dope. <laughs> Here. I don't like what this am I dude. Doing here? I don't like this dude. How could you do that? No. How could you, boss? No, talk? no, no. no. Oh, See man. what you did there. I'm not really <laughs> like this. No, that's dope. Yeah. That is no, dope. No, man. See that? That's like, man, you know, I love interviewing the comedians, bro. They make you laugh, man. And you know how I am. I be yes. looking for them. I'm like, I'm going to get him next. I'm going to go get him next. I be trying to see which one going to be tripping the most. That's cool. That's awesome. That's dope. Oh, that's how I talk, man. Who did you get your funny bone from? He don't know. No, my dad, my mom and dad are both funny. Oh. It's, it's, it's toxic and, and uh, Come I out all of that stuff I can say. Those two, there was... Those are two of the funniest people I ever met in my life. Wow. If they could just got their shit got together. To yeah. It, they're funny, man. Go they're in. They're funny. That's why I, 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 with my my biological dad, man, like, he's, he's yeah, he's just a funny dude. Cuts he's a up. funny dude. Love to have a good time. Yeah, but he's just selfish and didn't know how to raise me, so to speak. <laughs> you know? Do you yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.